In this video, we want to show that the following statements involving logarithmic expressions are true. If you want to pause the video here and try these out, go ahead and do so. It's just a matter of using properties of logs. So we copied the problem here. And I'll just say this is equal to, I have the sum of two logs. So one of the properties of logs tells me that when I have the sum of two logs, that's the same thing as the log of the product of those quantities. So this would be the log of this expression times this expression right here. So this is going to be, this is like a plus b and a minus b. I multiply those out, it's a squared minus b squared. So in this case, the first term is x, so that would be x squared. Then it's minus, and then it's those two get multiplied. Again, a, a plus b or a minus b times a plus b is the difference of the squares. So it's the square of this minus the square of this quantity. So this, you square the radical there, it eliminates the square root. So it gives me this right here. Now instead of the sum of two logs, I have the log of the product of those quantities. So notice here, this is going to be minus x squared and an x squared, those are going to cancel. And a minus times a minus one is a plus one. So this is going to give me the log of one to base A. So the log of one to base A is what, what value? Well, simply asking A to what power gives me one? Well, it's A to the zero. So we've shown that the statement is true. Let's go to the next one now. So for this one then, we want to show that the natural log of 1 plus e to the 2x, remember here the base for ln, this is e. It's understood, we don't put it in there. So let's start with this then. ln Of 1 plus e to the 2x. So this is no different than proving an identity in trigonometry. You start with either side and you show that it equals to the other side. Here I'm starting with the left side and I want to show that I come up with this. Do a little bit of algebra, use the uh, properties of log and so forth. So Looking at what I have on the right side over here, I'm going to rewrite this and here I'm using the basic definition of exponent or negative exponents. So I'm actually taking the e to the 2x and I'm saying that's just e to the 2x is the same thing as 1 over e to the negative 2x. They're equivalent. That's just like a to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over a to the first power, positive power. If I have it the other way around, 1 over a to the negative 1. That's the same thing as a. here if I take it I take this to the denominator it just changes the sign so I get this right here and then I just do a little bit of algebra here so this is ln let's put this together common denominator here common denominator here is e to the minus 2x so this will be e to the minus 2x will be in the denominator And in the numerator, then I'll have 
multiply here by e to the minus 2x and e to the minus 2x. This would be e to the minus 2x. plus 1. Now I have the natural log of a fraction. So again, using property of logs, if I have the natural log or log to any base of a fraction, that's, same as, that's the same as the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So this would give me then, this would be the same thing as ln of e to the minus 2x. plus 1 minus natural log of e to the minus 2x. And then I just say this is equal to, so I want to wind up with this right here. I'll just say this is ln, and I can rewrite this, addition is commutative, so I can write it instead of e to the minus 2x plus 1, I can write it as 1 plus e to the negative 2x, and this would be minus, and remember this space here is e, so I have the natural log of e to the minus 2x, okay, just, uh, just understood, but I'll go ahead and write it in. That's e. So because this is e and this is e, the answer to that is minus 2x. So that's a minus and a minus is a plus. Again, I put it in front so it looks just like the uh, original statement, but they're still the same. Minus times the minus 2x is 2x. And this is going to be plus ln at 1 plus e to the minus 2x. So you got 2x plus ln at 1 plus e to the negative 2s, 2x. This checks out. That's the solution. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.